Captain. Merry Christmas, Alice. May we come in? So what's going on? A monk thinks that he knows who tried to kill me uh, during the Christmas party. I thought it was Frank Prager. No, it wasn't Prager. In fact, it wasn't anybody. Nobody tried to kill the captain. That was a trick to throw us off track. Terry Chasen was the target from the beginning. Alice, we know you and Terry were involved. We've got phone records, credit cards. You were together for about six months. Seven. Seven months. Was it because he went back to his wife? That's why you killed him? Alice, we know how you did it. The Christmas gift exchange was your idea. It was easy to make sure that the captain picked Terry's name. Yeah, I remember. I was the last one to choose, and there was one name left. The day of the party, you brought a poison bottle into the office. You dropped it off at the front desk. It was addressed to Captain Stottlemyre. And you know I don't drink port. And at some point, probably during the party, you snuck into the captain's office and you stole the gift that he had brought in for Terry. When the captain couldn't find it, you suggested replacing it with the bottle, the poison bottle. It was like a magician doing sleight of hand. You had everybody looking the wrong way. It was brilliant. Excuse me. You know, if you throw it away, we'll find traces of it. You know that. It's in the basement. How did you know? Natalie. This is the card and the envelope. It came with the whisk broom, which, by the way, I've been using. It really is fantastic. But the card is a little too big. See, you had to fold it over. This card came with the poison bottle. It's too small. Ellis, you mixed them up. I mixed them up. <laughs> and I'm usually so organized. I couldn't. I just couldn't live without him. 